I grew up on a farm in North Carolina. My grandfather was a tobacco farmer, of all things, in North Carolina. That was his cash crop, but he and my grandmother maintained a large garden, and most of our meals came from that garden. My grandmother, Adela, was uh, a wonderful cook, um, and that really spurred my interest in cooking. It's one of the things that led me to becoming a chef myself. I have a 22-month-old uh, daughter by the name of Della, and I'm concerned about what lies ahead for her in this world. I'm certainly concerned about the things that she eats now, and I'd like to think that being a part of creating a local food system really presents more of a sustainable future for her. As a chef, Michael Jones focused on the preparation and presentation of food. Now, as executive director of Local Matters, he's focusing on a more fundamental aspect of food, getting it and getting it to the people. Local Matters is a Columbus nonprofit group working to create a local food system, a complete circle of local farmers, businesses, and consumers all supporting each other. There are many reasons that people in the community would want to support a local food system. Uh, flavor, for example. Things just taste better um, when you buy them locally. You're supporting the local economy when you buy from a local food system. The other thing that I could say, too, is that we ask people often to pick an issue of concern that they may have, you know, whether it's global warming, whether it's food security issues, whether it's childhood obesity, uh, nutrition, wellness, whatever. And in every single case, we're able to say to them, simple solution, create a local food system. Less than 100 years ago, basically all food systems were local food systems, and food preparation took up a good chunk of the family's time. Now, supermarkets stocking products from commercial farms and factories around the world are the norm, and most people know very little about food except that they must eat it. Local Matters hopes to change all that. And how about that spinach? The spinach. Local Matters is really focusing on three different areas. Uh, one of the areas is what we call our Farm to Fork program, which is really working with the farm community, encouraging them to grow more food crops, and then doing what we can do to create market opportunities for them. It's one of the reasons why we chose to open a for-profit business at the North Market called The Greener Grocer. Uh, all sorts of uh, winter greens. We're so excited about partnering with you for this gorgeous, gorgeous shard. We're not organic, we're a biodynamic farm, so that's kind of the mother of organics. We start at the soil level, which is an organic practice as well, uh, but we focus on particular composting practices, and we plant by the moon, and so we're kind of like ship's navigators on land. So is this something that you can sell to a lot of chefs in Columbus with Local Matters, with our Chef Growers Network? We can, and I think we, we have thought about going to places that may, may sell tea, that, that, have, that have a focus on sitting and talking, that kind of ambiance, where they would want to have local honey on the table to put on a biscuit or in their tea. Another area that we are focusing on is the urban community gardens, and it's one that we're just starting to look at. There are several uh, community gardens here uh, in the city of Columbus, but there really isn't anything that's being done to connect them all. The final area that we're focusing on is our school garden program and outdoor learning environment. We think that that's going to have a huge impact on the school system potentially and just the way kids look at foods and where it comes from, how it tastes and so forth. The norm still tends to be that a lot of the kids have really no idea where the ingredients of their favorite foods like pizza and spaghetti come from other than a grocery store. If we ask them where did the ingredients from your pizza sauce come from, it, the, the answer is usually Kroger's or Meyers. Will you find apples on a tree this time of year? No. No. We can find them at a grocery store. In a grocery store, that's right. You can find them in grocery stores. Farmer Paul is a wonderful tool for educating the kids in sustainable farming practices. 
much of it's experiential rather than information based. So is a three-year-old really going to understand about the importance of not shipping something 1,500 miles? Not yet, but I think by allowing them to play and participate in putting together an organic gardening space, I think when the time comes for them to get that information, there will be a real appreciation for the importance of that. If you look at the amount of, of a dollar that is spent in our country right now on food, we spend about 10 cents of every dollar. Most other countries spend approximately 50 cents per dollar. And we're certainly not saying that you'll need to spend 50 cents of your dollar for food because we're all very conscious of how we spend our, our dimes and nickels these days. But I think we also say that a local food system initially may be uh, a little more expensive. But it is true by doing that now, you certainly may be saving yourself more dollars down the road in terms of health costs, medical costs, and things of that nature. And again, frankly, um, I think there is just an element of, of flavor in this that just needs to be taken into account as well. People have been gathering around the table for centuries, and they still do. You think about most of the visits that you have with friends, oftentimes you end up in the kitchen around the table with food and drink in front of you. So our contention is why not make it the best tasting, flavorful stuff you can get as opposed to much of what we see now.